Having gathered all required dimensions, let's move to the actual build. We take the size of the screen from part 1, cut about 3 to 5 cm each side to give us some margin and make it the inner size of the sand pit. To build the sand pit you can use solid plywood, particle board or anything stiff enough to support the weight of some 50 to 100 kg of sand. I would suggest making the sand pit about 15 to 20 cm deep and filling it halfway. A good practice is to seal the edges with resin, silicone or glue to avoid sand spilling. Make a vertical line on the back wall of the sand pit, exactly in the middle of the length. It will help you join the elements correctly in the next steps. Next step is making the cage for the Kinect and the projector. Again, you can use wood, steel or even 3D print the housing. Make sure you keep the exact dimensions. Center the sensor and align it with the projector's lens. If you are using a lens shift projector, just mount the two devices closely to each other, but be careful not to cover any ventilation holes. In my case, I moved one element of the frame to avoid blocking the projector's air outtake. To easily mark off the projector's mounting holes, place it on a bag and put a sheet of paper on the top. Using sharp pencil or perhaps a marker, draw dots on the holes. Make sure to draw edges or other elements as well, as they will help you define the placement of the projector in your housing. Use washers or nuts to level the projector in your housing. Many models have legs that reach farther out than the mounting holes, even after being hidden. In such case, it is better to apply longer screws and more washers, so the device rests on the washers and not the legs. This way, it will be leveled with more precision. If you are having trouble tilting the projector, consider using a low-profile mount. Most of them allow you to apply some tilt and also dismount the device without losing its exact placement. This is very important, as any changes in the position of one device relative to another result in need for recalibration. However, in most cases few more washers will do just fine. Speaking of not losing the exact placement, make sure the sensor won't move. Normally it has just one quarter inch thread. It allows to adjust the position, but also doesn't really make it stable. My idea for a simple solution is to use zip ties and angle brackets to counter and make it really rigid. Mark the center of the Kinect and the lens on the construction. It will help you join all elements correctly. Having prepared the two elements, it is time to join them together. I recommend using some kind of a column, either a wooden or metal frame, or even a single pole, and fixing one end to the sand pit and the other one to the cage. Place the column in the center of the mass of your projector and sensor housing. It may happen that this is where the projector's mounting screws are. 
In such case, make a hole or two in the column to avoid them. Use the lines you made earlier to align the two elements. Make sure the distance between the bottom of the sunpit and the sensor and lens is correct. Now is the time you can experiment. For example, make a table for a sunpit, mount wheels, foldable legs, or make the elements fully detachable for easy transport. Mm -hmm.